So let's look at how we solve uh, a system of linear equations. So here I've got uh, a two by two system of linear equations, and if I want to solve it, well, when, when I've got something that is uh, an, an equation, that means that the thing on the left is the same as the thing on the right. That's the, the meaning of the equal sign, right? So I can add these two equations together because if I add the, um, let's say if I uh, take the first equation and add it to the second equation, so like this, <coughs> that's my in, uh, notation for adding the first equation to the second equation. Um, then I'm going to be adding the same thing to both sides of the second equation, so so it works fine. Okay, so let's see. So if I do that, then well, my first equation is unchanged, and when I add um, the the x's combine to give me a single x here, and the y's combine to give me a single y here, and then I'm going to have uh, three minus one is two. So I've got this guy. Um, now what else can I do? Um, in terms of operations to help solve. Well, I can also write these in whatever order I want. So I could uh, swap row 1 and row 2. And that would give me, um, let's see, uh, well, I just have x plus y equals 2 at the top now, and 3x plus 2y equals 3 at the bottom. That's still going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to change the solution at all. Um, Maybe it wasn't especially helpful, but whatever. Um, I can let's let's do that. Um, adding one row to another one, but this time I'm going to add um, three copies of it, or actually minus three copies of it. So I'll do minus three times row one added to row two. Okay, and so when I do that, I'm going to get um, x plus y equals 2. The first row is, is untouched. And so I'm subtracting three copies of it. And just to indicate the motivation why, I want to get rid of this 3x right here. So I'm going to subtract three copies of this one. It's going to get rid of that x. And then I'm also going to have um, three y's subtracted from two y's, which gives me negative one y. And I'm going to have um, <coughs> three minus um, six. So it's going to be minus three. Okay, um, then let's see. Well, I can um, multiply uh, one row by a non-zero constant. So I'll do negative one times row uh, two. And that's going to give me, well, I've still got my x plus y equals two. And now y equals three. And I found the value of one of my constants, or, or one of my variables. And now I can subtract this, so I can do minus one uh, copy of row one added on to, uh, sorry, that's minus one copy of row two added on to row one. And I end up with x equals um, minus one, y equals three. And I've solved my system. There's our answer. Right? OK. So <coughs> what rules did we use? Well, let's see. So we could um, interchange two rows. We could uh, multiply by a non-zero constant. And we could um, add a multiple of one row. To another row. Okay, so <coughs> this can be simplified and and uh, with with minimizing the writing by using matrices instead. 
So we call these elementary row operations when we do them with matrices. Um, and most of the time I'll just call these row operations. So using row operations to solve a system is called Gaussian elimination. Or, or Gauss-Jordan elimination. Uh, the distinction between the two is, is slight. What we do is technically Gauss-Jordan elimination, but I just refer to it as Gaussian elimination because the distinction is not worth bothering with. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at that example again. We'll, we'll do uh, a redo of that example in, in matrix form. And so we had before 3x plus 2y equals 3 minus 2x minus y equals minus 1. So as an augmented matrix, this would be 3, 2, minus 2, minus 1, bar 3, minus 1. And we can solve it using exactly the same operations that that we had before so let's see so we'll do oops, we'll do um, uh, first row operation here let's see uh, so what did we do we added the first row to the second like this um, and that's why I'm using the R symbol that, that stands for row uh, so let's see so the first row stays the same and then for the uh, next one, we're going to get, whoops, uh, when we add that, we'll get 1 and 1 and 2. Then I decided to that I liked um, this particular one right here, and I wanted to make it my first row, first column entry. So I wrote 1, 1, 2, and that was doing a row swap. And then, let's see, after that, I subtracted three copies of the first one from the bottom one. And why did I do that? Well, I decided that this one uh, has got to go. So I'm going to make that one into a zero to cancel it off so I can solve for, for one of my variables. So 1, 1, 2 remains the same as it was. And then I subtract three copies of that, so it's going to zero out this guy and give me a minus 1 here and a minus 3 here. <coughs> OK. And so that was uh, minus 3 row 1 added to row 2. And uh, let's see. So now I look at this matrix and I say, oh, well, if this were a positive 1, then uh, I would have solved for, for y. So let's make that positive 1, 0, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2. So multiply row 2 by minus 1. And then um, carrying on on the next line, let's see. So I've got... So just um, this one's actually equal. I'm just carrying it down to the next line. Then let's see. So then carrying on, what do I do next? Uh, well, I'm going to uh, get rid of this one right here. Uh, because if I can make that into a 0, then the first row will tell me what the value of x is. So I'm going to do um, minus row 1 added to, oh, sorry minus row 2 added to row 1. And so that gives us 0, 1, 3. 
and then when we add that on there, the 0 does nothing to the 1. The subtracting the 1 from the 1 gives a 0. Subtracting the 3 from the 2 gives a minus 1. OK. And so then um, rewriting this back as a system of equations, um, it looks like 1x plus 0y is minus 1, and 0x plus 1y is 3. And that just says x equals minus 1, y equals 3. And that's our solution. So <coughs> two key observations that I want to take away from this. One is that the symbol tilde here, this one, this means we did a row operation. OK, so <coughs> if you have um, A tilde to B, this does not mean that A equals B, right? Each time I've got two matrices with a tilde between them, they have different entries, so they cannot be the same. The other thing I want you to notice is that we finished when our um, augmented matrix was reduced to something that looked like the identity and then stuff, right? And, and this last form here gave us the values of x and y and so forth. We'll see that that's not the only stopping condition. You don't always get the identity, but that is one stopping condition.